Good day, everyone. My name is Mr. Adeo Jimmy. Adeo Okay? So what we're looking at today is variation. What is variation? Variation is a relationship that exists between two or more variables. Okay, when you have two or more variables, the relationship that exists between them is all called variation. Basically, there are four types of variation. Four types of variation. One, we have direct variation. We have direct variation. Two, we have indirect. Indirect or what? Or inverse. Inverse variation. Three, we have joint joint variation four we have partial partial variation partial variation we have direct variation we have indirect or inverse variation we have joint variation we have partial variation when you talk about what joint variation, joint variation has to do with what uh, when you have uh, the combination of what direct and indirect, uh, and indirect, or you have indirect and indirect, or you have the two. Okay, so the combination of the two gives what joint. Okay, why this is what is quite different. Okay. Solving this, you need what the two simultaneous linear equation are not simultaneous equation. Okay, so let's go direct. Let's look at what the terms now. Terms, terms, terms used in variation. What are the terms that we use in variation? We use proportionality sign. Proportionality sign, proportionality sign, we also use what? Equality sign, equality sign, then we use what? With a constant, constant, we use constant, that is constant K, this is equality sign, why this is called sign of? Proportional, proportional sign or proportionality, proportionality sign, proportionality sign. Okay, so let's go there. Direct variation, direct variation, direct variation. Under this, if A varies directly. The square, the square of y. If x varies directly as the square of y, as the square of y. Write down the expression. So write down, write down the equation. We can write down the equation. How do you write down the equation? If x varies directly, and the square of y, take note, square is different from square root. When you say square, that is raised to the power of 2. Raised to the power of 2. So we are told that x, that is x, varies directly as well, as y squared. That as what? x varies directly as the square of y. That's y squared. Okay? And note, in order to remove this word, the sign of proportional, to remove this sign of proportional, you need to want to have equals to, uh, sorry, equals to constant. In order to remove this sign, we want to remove this sign, so we're going to have what? Therefore, x equals to, once you have equals to, what will follow will be what? K squared. Can you see that? Once you add these two, 
then you have what mathematically remove the sign of proportional adding these two equals and k you have removed this okay now let's go down find what okay find the formula the formula connecting connecting x and y if x equals to 4 and uh, y equals to square root of 25 square root of 25 find the formula connecting x and y formula connecting x and y don't forget that we are told that if x varies directly this is x varies directly that is x varies directly as y squared okay when what when x equals what equals 4 y equals what root 25 okay then to remove this sign don't forget that i said we had equals to then ky squared okay it means that we want to solve for k k is unknown then make k the subject of the formula so we can have k to be equals to x over y squared what's x x is 4 over root y squared is what? That would be 25. y is 25. 25 raised to the power of 2, that's 4 over 5. And that will give you what? 0 0.8. Okay? Or 4 over 5. Or 4 over 5. k equals to 0 0.8. But we are not asked to find what? Constant k. We are not asked to find this value. But we are told to find what? The relationship that connects x and y. So what will be the relationship? So the relationship will be, therefore, the relationship, the relationship will be what? What are they? X, x equals to k is. 4 over 5. Then y is what? y squared. So this is the relationship connecting what? x and y. Now the relationship that connects x and y. Okay? Still on this question. Still on that question. Find find the value Find the values of uh, the value, value of values of what? Of what? Value of values of y when x, when x equals to 2. When x equals what? 2. There will be the value of values of y. Okay. Now, from the relationship connected there, this is the relationship. Let's call this as the report. From the relationship, from the relationship, from the relationship, we have x to be equals to 4 upon 5 y squared. Okay. What's x? x is 2. That will be 2 equals to 4 upon 5 y squared. Yes or no? Okay? 2 here 1, 2 here 2. So that will be 1 upon 1 equals to 2 over 5 y squared, right? Okay? So we can have, we can have y squared to be equals to to be equals to 5 over 2. 
y squared equals to 5 over 2, which is equals to 2.5. y squared equals to 2.5. So we can have y to be equals to plus or minus square root of 2.5. So y equals to plus or minus, take root, square root of y, that will be plus or minus, because of what? Because of this power of y, the power of y is what is 2, it means that we must be having two answers, for what? For y, that's the reason, we'll be solving for how many answers? Two answers for what? For the value of what? Of y. So that's why I put plus or minus. One will be positive, the other will be what? Negative. This is still the same thing as this. Let me just bring this for that. See the same thing, okay? What do you have there? Because, let me just break it down. Because, two, x is two, equals to four, five, y square, alright, same thing as number 1, you cross multiply, so we have 5 times 2 equals to 4, for y square, this will give us 10 equals to 4 y square, divide both side by 4, divide both side by 4, so y squared, y squared equals to 10 over 4, that's what 5 over 2, mm -hmm. y equals to y squared equals to 2.5, so y equals the square root of 2.5 plus or minus. Can you see that? Same thing. Okay. Inverse variation. Inverse variation. Inverse variation. Example one on this. If x, okay.
if A varies inversely as the square of B and C, find the relationship that connects A, B, and C. If A equals to 0 0.5, B equals to 2.0, and C equals to 3.0. B, find the value of A where B equals to 4 and C equals what? 2. Solution. Okay? We are told that A varies inversely. That is inversely. Inversely. As a square of B, C. As a square. Not square. As a square. Okay? This will give what? A equals to K what? B, C squared. Okay? This is still the same thing as A equals to K upon what you have there? B squared, C squared. Okay? Laws of indices. One of the laws of indices. Okay? When what? When A equals to 0 0.5 B equals to 2.0 and what? And C equals to 30. Oh, 3.0. Then okay. we can solve for K in order to find the relationship that connects A, B, and C. Okay? A is 0.5 equals to K. That's K upon what's B? B is 2 times 3. 3 or is to power 2. Okay, that gives 0.5 equals to k over 6 or is to power 2. That's 2 times 3, 6 is to power 2. So that's 0.5 equals to k upon 36. That's 36. 6 raised to the power of 2 is not equal to 6 times 2. Wrong! Is not equal to. Okay, is wrong because C raised to power 2 is not equal to 6 times 2. C raised to power 2 is 36. And 36 is not equal to 12. Not equal to. So we can say what well, C raised to power 2 equals to 6 times 6 equals to 36. Okay, so that's 36. Then you cross multiply. So we have K times 1 equals to 0 0.5 times 36. Alright, then k times 1 is k equals what over this b 18. 18. That's 18. K is 18. Then therefore. Therefore, the formula. Uh, the relationship, relationship between AB and C mm -hmm. will be what? Will be A equals to B equals to what's K? K is what? 18 upon what? BC squared or you have A equals to 18 upon what? B squared C squared. So that is the relationship. That is the relationship between A, B, and C. Second one. That's B. That's what? B. Find the value of what? Find the value of A. A is unknown. When what? When B equals 4 and C equals 2. When B equals 4 and C equals what? And C equals 2. Okay? So A is what? So A is from here, from here, from asterisk 1. You can see from asterisk 1. From asterisk 1, we have A to be equals to 18 upon B, C, or square. 
which is equal to 18 upon b is 4 times 2 pop squared equals 18 upon this is 8 it is to power 2 okay and I give out 18 upon 64 okay 3 can go in this but 3 cannot go in 16 why? and 64 6 plus 4 is 10 so 3 cannot go in 10 okay 1 plus 8 is 9 3 can go in 9 but 3 cannot go in this so but 2 can go so we can say we divide by 2 divide by 2 we have 49 upon this will give you 30 what? that's 32 so A equals 32 thank you and God bless you